Two secret agents on a special mission from the government. Two groups of trainee superheroes. An invisible arch enemy with the power to destroy our way of life. This is... The Windmill Project turns your classroom into an operations base and trains students to become super energy heroes. I am KJ DJ. I liked about being a super energy hero because we learnt about the world, how um, global warming works. Super lightning! I like being a super energy hero because you could have a chance to stop CO2. They liked the fact they were the super energy heroes and that helped them and gave them really good stimulus to focus on their learning of sustainable energy. Your arch enemy is carbon dioxide, or CO2 for short. To combat their arch enemy, CO2, they need to develop their three superpowers, questioning, caring and imagination. By burning the Earth's fossil fuels, we have created the greenhouse effect, with dramatic consequences. And we thought it was really weird because we use some of those things mostly every day and then you think about it and you realise that you're, like most people, are actually destroying the world. It's um, like gases around the um, earth and then they get thicker and thicker. And some of the sun gets to bounce off and some don't, some get stuck inside. And then the earth heats up and it, ice, it melts all the ice caps. Why do you think the sea levels are rising? Yeah. Ice is melting. Because the ice is melting. If you live near the coast, like Great Yarmouth, you are at risk of being flooded. I had to go up to my neighbour's house and sleep there for the night because they were saying there was going to be flooding and there was near the quay. At the time, I didn't think that it was caused by global warming. Using examples from Africa, and from much nearer to home, the trainees learn how renewable energies are vital in our struggle against global warming. But there's one thing in Malawi, which is this. It's windy. It's windy. And there's William, he's 14 years old, and he comes up with a solution. Yeah. Wind turbines? <laughs> a wind turbine! He is not going to be having this made out of this huge, huge parts like this. He's going to make his windmill out of whatever he can find, okay? Out of whatever he can find. I think their understanding of, of global warming and climate change has really improved, so I'd say that was the best part of the project, highlighting those issues with the children, but also helping them to understand what those words actually mean. They hear them on the news all the time, but you know they have very little understanding of them. They hear them as keywords, buzzwords, but now they have a, a good understanding of what these words mean and the causes of these issues that are currently affecting the world today. I thought it was really fun because we got to be someone and act differently from how we usually are. Then we had to think about other people in the world and other things apart from ourselves. It's actually very important because first I wasn't really, let's just say, an eco-friendly person. But I think I am going to learn. 